Wonder of the seas. What to do on the biggest ever cruise ship. The world's newest wonder. This is how Royal Caribbean calls their new cruise ship, Wonder of the Seas. The new vessel is now going through sea trials, and today, we'll see if it's going to be better than the other cruise ships in the fleet of the company. The Wonder of the Seas cruise ship is an Oasis-class vessel that set a new record in gross tonnage, making it 237,000 tons, though the ship is 20 centimeters shorter than the Harmony of the Seas. So basically, this is going to be one of five Oasis-class ships in the fleet of Royal Caribbean, with one more vessel being added in 20. 24. Though, the press was going mad recently when the company announced that they are testing the world's newest, biggest cruise ship. Today, we are going to look at the entertainments, room plans, technical specs, and other important features of the ship. In terms of technology, nothing is going to change much. Wonder of the Seas was built by the Chantilly d'Atlantic shipyard in France. The ship is 362.1 meters long, 64 meters wide. The average draft is 30 feet. The ship will be able to take nearly 7,000 people on board. Interestingly, the crew will remain the same as in any other Oasis-class ship of Royal Caribbean. It will be around 2,300 crew members. The ship is powered by six Vortzilla engines that set three Ozipods and four bow thrusters into movement. The cruising speed is 22.6 knots, or 26 miles per hour. But specs aren't the most important and interesting thing on board the ship. Let's look at what the cruise ship will offer to passengers. So, in addition to conventional neighborhoods, there will be a new suite neighborhood. This is a separate area available for passengers who book suites in upper decks. The neighborhood will offer individual experience, the best restaurant, great sun deck, and a private lounge. Also, here you will find a new type of family room called the Ultimate Family Suite. The other neighborhoods will include a central park with wonderful cafes amongst the trees and bushes, boardwalk with additional entertainment, pool, and a sports zone with some gyms, pools, and sun decks. An entertainment place with a lot of cool things to do when you're at sea. The Royal Promenade, which is the heart of every Oasis-class ship, Vitality Spa and Fitness Center, and also a youth zone for kids of all ages. Nine dining facilities will be open for guests, regardless of the ticket type. There will be 12 specialty dining facilities where you will be able to order exquisite dishes for extra payment. A total of 12 bars will be found on the decks of Wonder of the Seas. Of course, the entertainment available won't allow you to just sit in your stateroom or suite without having a lot of fun all over the ship. There are theaters, open spaces for performances, kid zones with a lot of things to do for them, and also traditional entertainment you will want to find in any big cruise ship of Royal Caribbean. They are the Flowrider attraction, rock climbing walls, pools, and sun decks. Also, explore the entertainment zone where you and your children will have an amazing time. Among the types of rooms, you have the option to choose inside rooms without any windows. If you choose this type, it's recommended to pay a little more for a virtual balcony room. This is the type of room where you have a big screen with a live broadcasting of what's going on outside. It looks just like a real balcony. Then there are sea view rooms with windows and also traditional balcony rooms. It'd be pretty cool to get a suite room, but this time, they're probably gonna cost a lot. The trouble is that all new cruise ships are quite popular with people who often choose cruises for their next vacation and have a good amount of money to spare. So in the first year of service, all suites are usually way too expensive to be booked. Though, the number of suites was increased a little to meet the new requirements for all clients. Royal Caribbean says that the ship is going to be used on most Caribbean cruises of the company. Initially, they were planning to use the ship to China and Japan in 2021, but the pandemic changed the plans. Now it will start in America in 2022, and then move to Europe when the season in the U.S. is over. So, everyone will be able to have a new cruising experience with Royal Caribbean and their biggest ship, which is the biggest cruise ship in the world.